I prepare some kind of introduction text, which I hope give also a little bit broader framework of uh, at least our pro proposal or expectation what the con uh, uh, this today's discussion can be dealing with, which is of course about archiving, but I think it's <clears throat> there are also other aspects which could be uh, interesting issues to, to discuss. So, so I will, I will try not to read it, but I think I will read it anyway. Uh, the focus and the time span of this gathering reflect the archives of and the mem memories of more or less established, sometimes half-forgotten art initiatives, models, strategies, networks, and personal experiences. Here and today, we'll, uh, it is related to a specific study case and the history of Hermit Foundation and Center for Metamedia Plasi. Uh, which can be, this exhibition can be considered as an example of a small archive of documents related to a particular cultural event which by chance survived and during the time could easily as many other marginal community or personal ar archives end up in the, on the junkyard. So there is only one English speaker so I can ex excuse my English. Uh, uh, in this case, such vulnerability and culture of culture construct linked to the trajectory period can be interpreted in the context of the ongoing academic and media discussions and confrontations about our collective identity and politics of memory, but as well as a part of political battle of social and economical turbulence we are witnessing all around us today or lately. One of the panelists, Vít Havranek, uh, in his abstract touched on the question whether the Hermit project, quoting, uh, strived to become meta or beyond temporal, or if it was ahead of its time. Uh, I presume that Hermit was deeply rooted in uh, the impermanence and ephemerality ephemerality and was inspired by the concept of Hakim's Bay temporary autonomous zone. Thus it was a sum symptom or a child of its age and the feeling of its mortality was always present from the beginning. Even I could dream about it, its uh, bright future, its sustainability as an emerging international transitionary center for an altered art. And I argue, argue that hermit networks were interconnected with the asynchronous texture of similar ancient and postmodern concepts and ideas reaching beyond the limits of any individual strivings or achievements. Uh, though it can be evaluated or criticized as, as a, a little team project, it is in fact that even after 25 years, it could be even in a laboratory-like form reanimated or resurrected in its liminal states between sleep and death. Because of the physical book and the almost finished exhibition, it could become, we hope or I hope, part of some sub subs culture annals and entered the small history files, even if it looks as a foolish thought today in the age of uh, virtuality. Uh, we invite about 50 or 60 people from Czech and abroad to this gathering who <clears throat> we hoped or expected uh, would have something to say about uh, the bedrocks of our present situation in art and culture in the Central Europe. Some of them responded to the call and uh, a fraction agreed to come and participate. Today we can discuss their personal experience and opinions by Gertrude Moss and Wagner, Martin Z, Tomás Schuller, Michal Morin, Michael Delia, Alexander Roberto Most, uh, and David Miller. Uh, 
they belong to a line of about 400 people who actively participated or built or helped to build the Hermit events during the 90s. Each has, a, I hope, some personal experience to share with us. Of course, they are not representing a sample of people who are attending the symposia and festivals as performers or visitors. By the way, one of our goals was to help to erase borders between artist and non-artist, between performer and the viewer. Uh, Anna Olszewska, Vít Havránek, uh, Marina Grinich, Jovita Pristovšek, uh, Miklos Petrnak and Dušan Barok can help us to draw along uh, larger contours of a particular situation both today and then in Hungary, Slovakia, Poland or in Slovenia. Peter Bergman made a big effort to build emerging culture community and a center in one of the remote areas of Bohemia, operating more or less at the same time with Hermit. Ivan Mitchell can be considered as an excellent example of grassroots culture activist and small independent publisher who was able to adapt to the changing condition in the Czech art and culture from early 90s uh, until now. But I think it would be short-minded to discuss the place and role of art, art in the post-socialistic society, societies in 89-2000 uh, without trying to reflect the, the present situation here in the middle of Europe in the year 2023. How has the Central European landscape and geopolitical setting in the course of the four, last 40 years changed? Did something remain the same as it was in times of the Iron Curtain or are we entering times of a new curtains constructed of discommunication, disinformation and ignorance? When we compare the situation in Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Poland or even Austria now and then, it looks like cosmopolitan cosmopolitan liberals and civic initi initiatives who in the early 90s uh, managed to exclude communist national conservatives and populists from the political field. After 2010, uh, they took back the revenge and became even leaders in global anti-liberal turn uh, and avant-garde of the coming era. As Viktor Orban famously stated in 2017, in 1989 we saw our future in Europe. Now we are the future of Europe. The recent rise of uh, neo-nationalism and ultra-conservatism in Central Europe cannot be interpreted only as a product of an endogenous dynamic of the post-communist societies and as a conflict between the totalitarian past and the democratic and liberal now. It is rather well part and parcel of a pan-European, maybe worldwide, anti-globalist movement and battle about our collective identity. When the market economy and liberal democracy were established in the Central Europe during the 90s, the unstable consensus between the cosmopolitan liberal a national conservative camp lost its resonator. But to reach the promised land and to replace a distop distant dystopia of the West with its reality, woke up frustrations and disillusionment among people. Uh, I think it is 10 minutes, reaching the 10 minutes limit. Uh, so what I, what I wanted to say I hope it was clear that from my point the Hermit <clears throat> and the Center for Metamedia History is not only about archiving and kind of retrospective of a certain country culture phenomenon of uh, of the history like 30 or 40 years ago but I think it's also part of the broader uh, image of the uh, what is happening now in Czech Republic, in Slovakia, uh, Hungary and Poland. And it is actually one of the culture uh, wars 
about what actually is our uh, contemporary situation, what we are going or where we are going to. Uh, I hope that it is not necessary to explain the particular events I'm referring to, uh, but let's hope we can uh, uh, have some fruitful and interesting uh, discussion uh, without having uh, not um, having a common or with having a common ground, uh, which could be the cult importance of the culture in 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 our uh, world. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you.